1960s America, undoubtedly a decade that brought the golden era in muscle car production, culminating, many would argue, with this, the super cool, super smooth and super bad 1968 Dodge Charger RT. For sure, they were faster and more powerful muscle cars of the day, but none quite had the edge that the Charger brought to the party. If you were a rebel in the late 60s or 70s, you drove one of these. Far from the American drag strips, I find this car today in a sleepy corner of South Wales, where I invite you to join me as we get this wild thing out on the road to find out what it's all about and have a chat with its owner Max. Or should that be Mad Max? I'm Craig and welcome to Craig on Cars. <laughs> So it started life as a 383 four-speed manual car okay. and I think it was in blue originally. Yeah. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, someone owned it in America, enjoyed it for you know a good few years, something happened and it was parked and it was found in the late 90s then, sort of rotting away in a barn somewhere in California. And then that's where his uh, new lease of life started. So it was um, it was brought over to the UK, and at that point, you think it was restored? Yeah, it was it was restored in the early 2000s, and the engine work was done in 2012. So that the guy who owned it before me found a 68 440 engine, and obviously, you got to get yeah. it in there. Okay, so. So it started out of life as a 383, so that's in for a cubic inches. So for us Brits, that's what roughly 6 a 6 litre, 6.6, 6 I 6 think. 6 litre yeah. engine. Um, do you know if it was the, the two barrel carb or the four barrel? I think it would have been a four barrel, yeah. So that was three, probably three, 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 330 brake horse, I think they had. Yeah, yeah. And um, But whoever's, when you say the engine work's been done, so uh, an RT440 engine's been put in it. And the last and been then, built and and it's been bored out to uh, bored and stroked to 502, which okay. that Eight. works out as 8.2 litres. 8.2 litres. And what? Uh, and if you can hear us talking, what power does they put out now? Roughly 500. Okay. Be about 500 horsepower and probably about 500 foot pounds at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's the thing with these cars. All right, this one's got a lot more power than it would have had originally, but muscle cars. Us Europeans are always like, well, the Americans can't get enough horsepower out of these big engines. But that kind of misses the point, doesn't that's it? it. It's, it's the, the low down torque. That's what it was all about. Yeah, really, 68 to 70 is the best muscle car years because yeah. that's before em emissions and came in, and you know. But af after after 68, 70, that's when the horsepower really dropped off. In yeah. Them. For us over here. It, think muscle cars I suppose the first thing that you think about is the Ford Mustang. That's it, it's a Mustang, um, yeah. But it was this, this was the cool one. This, for me this has always been number one, yeah. You know, it's a, yeah. a big beefy front end, it's long, it's mean, it's loud, yeah. so everything you want in a muscle car. Thumbs up from there, you go. You get a lot of that. <laughs> a lot, here and there. Yeah. So, like I said, you know, you go to fill it up, you're there for 40 minutes. Yeah. Everyone wants a chat, everyone wants a picture, but that's part of owning them, you know, it's the, the social side as well. Yeah, very much. It's nice to bring them out and uh, make people's day as well as your own. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen another Dodge Charger on British roads, but it's always been in present in you know, American mm. cars, just the the bad boy look, that front end especially, um, of course 68 I suppose was the most um, popular 
well, because it was straight straight through. That's it. In 69, 69, they brought that little bit Split in the middle. Through, yeah. 70. And look, the Americans were well known for changing their model models every single year, just That's tweaking. It. Um, but of course, with the lights on the back, the 68 model had the circular lights. The 69 onwards had the long strips. Long ones, yeah. That's it. I mean, I, it's funny because growing up, I always liked the 70 because it had the full grill and the big long tail lights. And sort of in recent years, then I've sort of gone back now to the 68 being the one for me. You yeah. know, so uh, I think for, for me, it's the 68. Mm. It's just there's something about the styling that when it was released, Dodge said that it, they, they called it the clean machine, but it is the styling is so smooth. Mm. Yeah, the really lines. Is. And yeah, you mentioned off camera that. The car is, it doesn't want to cruise, it drives much better when it's driving you, you yeah, flat out. It, it, it just wants to go all the time, you know. You can't sense that from the passenger seat, it, it feels very smooth. Mm. You can tell the suspension is a bit bouncy. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> leaf springs. Leaf springs on the back, yeah, it's just cool. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it right now, this is probably one of the... You don't have to go fast uh, to enjoy it, you know. No. It's, uh, you can you can cruise around at 20 mile an hour and it's yeah. just as fun as when you're doing uh, 70. But getting there is the most fun part. Yeah. Going back to the RT sort of tribute conversion, we've, more, we've mentioned the engine, but the interior has received a bit of a and yeah, upgrade yeah. too because I think that this centre console that was an option only available on the RT. I could be wrong, but it was definitely that, an option. That could be. I I, I don't know myself. Um, I, I, I don't have a clue. <laughs> it, it wasn't standard on on any of the uh, the Charger models, mm. but I in researching for this, I thought that that was only for the RT. Yeah, because I, I think originally with the manual, it definitely wouldn't have had this um, centre console. But that, you know, you could tell it's, it's old because yeah. of the sort of uh, patina, yeah. bits of rust. Yeah. Give it a little go, is it? Go on, show you what she's got. to my that, face. That right. was uh, savage. So essentially the car wants to kill you every time yeah, you get in it. Yeah, pr pretty much. I think you can you can understand why it's always the bad guy's car. Yeah. You know, it's um, such an intimidating car, you know, if, if you're driving in front and it's racing up behind you, you know, you look in your rear view and think, you know, God, that thing is uh, going to run me off the road in yeah. a minute. So going back to the, uh, the transmission, I'm sure there'll be a few viewers saying, oh, it's not a manual, you know, that's not a proper muscle car. It's, even but, for me, I, I wanted a manual, but it drives lovely, you know, it's got so much power. Pe people say that the three speeds are slush boxes, but this is, you know, this changes it. Yeah. A, and there's, there's, there's just so much torque, though, I suppose, that it probably suits. It suits it, yeah. It's a bit more easy going. That's it, it's, it's, uh, it. just brings the tone it down. And maybe it saps a bit of power from the engine. But there was no definitely That's no shortage it, no. of power, was there? It's got enough. Like any more, and it would be a bit, uh, a bit dangerous. Yeah. Then. But no, it's it's lovely. I mean, it drives. So it it really it drives how I always expected them to drive. You know, yeah. it's it's a big car. It's a little bit boaty around the corners, but that's what I like about it. You know, it's um, purely a straight line car. Yeah. And how do you find driving on the left side? Fine. No problem. Yeah. It's, um, that's, I, th I think a lot of people have it in their minds that a left-hand drive car is going to be a pig to drive. But honestly, after 10 seconds of being in it, it's fine. Yeah, you, know, you get used to it straight away. So the only thing is the size of the car. Just got to be these, conscious uh, of where it is. That's it. Yeah, your road positioning. Yeah. The, the, probably the worst thing on the car is the mirrors. Because the, the so, mirrors are sat so close to you and they're so small that you yeah. really, you, you know, you can't see much out of them. But uh, I mean, it's, it's got loads of visibility, you know, it's um, re really nice to drive. Yeah. I love it, you know, it's, uh, once I'm in it driving, I just don't want to get out. You know, I could go, go around in it for hours. Yeah. 
to be honest, I, I didn't think I would have one at this point. You know, the, the cars I was sort of looking at were Chevy Novas, you know, Firebirds, Camaros, and this one sort of popped up. It, it was the right price, it wasn't too far away, and I, I just knew as soon as I saw it, you know, I knew this this is the one. Yeah. And as soon as the next day then, I was up in Kent looking at it, and uh, to this day, you know, I, I honestly, I can't believe I'm driving this car. It's a pinch yourself you know, car. Yeah, it is, it's, it much. really is, you know. I, Every time I get in here, every time I open the garage and look at it, you just sort of stand there and smile for a moment and think, you know, is this real? Is it, you know, is it really happening? And yeah. built so the, the gearbox can handle 600 plus yeah the engine can handle 600 plus so it really is built to be used you know is it I don't baby her that's for sure yeah it's not a garage queen not a trailer it's queen it's uh, it should be get out and drive it yeah it's a way you know so you've got you've not had it for long but have you got any plans with the car anything you want to do to it I got Put your own stamp on it. plenty of plans Go coming on, my way. I think uh, we'll, we'll probably be doing another video in a couple of years' time. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, definitely more power is fast enough for being being American muscle. You know, yeah. it's all about the numbers, really. Uh, I'd, I'd love to go more for the pro street look. So, a bit more rubber on the back end, bring the back up in the air, keep the front low. Okay. Nice shaker hood. Um, I want some nice round exhaust pipes and um, really that would be it for me you know uh, maybe a different carb setup and that and just see what sort of power we can get out of it you know Be Great. beef it up yeah so uh, anything for power that's what we'll be looking at but I'm uh, I am happy as it is you know I, uh, I'm in no rush to change anything on it just enjoy the car that's it's, it. so, it's yeah. so cool just enjoy it for as it is now but it is, it's, uh, yeah, it's a dream come true driving yeah. it. Where is it? What? Oh, I see. <laughs> a very little roundabout. It's a very little roundabout. <laughs> we'll see now, we should make it. Perfect for. Yeah, everyday, uh, that everyday driving. Circle. The perfect grocery getter. <laughs> you for uh, for sharing your car with us okay it's been a pleasure I'm in love <laughs> <laughs> I want one okay so this isn't a factory RT but make no mistake this thing is absolutely savage and it will do everything in its power to scare the wits out of you one thing I can certainly appreciate now having experienced the car is I completely understand why this is consistently ranked as one of the most badass cars ever made Thank you to Max for sharing his amazing machine with us and to you guys for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber to be first to see future specials episodes where I'll be sharing with you the stories of other cool and interesting vehicles. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.